weeks. This isn't a job where you come in and do nothing. This is a job where you play out your utmost role. How many people we got? This is gonna be a, a World War III right now. This is a gift for you. Oh, you. Yes, watch out. Oopsie. There you go, right? He was here, obviously. Have a little shootout in the dime, Mr. Oh, these are hoops for Erica? Oh, I'm about to get a six change operation just to wear this. Yeah, it's a good exercise for business because they need to learn how to f so there's a lot of little details and then inside you're gonna see gold bars that are stamped with tracks NYC on them. Machine set, not by human, and this is hand set. Everything in the Diamond District is guilty until proven innocent. The boss is dead. If people want to keep their job and not be thrown out of here, and the vast ocean of people that I'm looking at now, if they want to keep their job, something has to be done. That's what the jewelry business is all about, sourcing materials, production. There's so many tire kickers and low lives in this business and in this world. That's really what this show is about. If I could pull this business off or not, and you're gonna see how I do it if I do. I hide nothing. I don't need to hide anything. I know how to use the truth as a weapon. This is not the reality that's scripted reality. This is indeed reality. It's a Rolex, uh, uh, you yeah, know. Right, you know one battery. Sure, battery. I, I don't think it's a, it's gonna be that bad. Careful, too. it's sharp back. Careful. On the I, got you, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Want you to hurt How much is this thing, man? Two bucks. We're just gonna have to find this way. Two hundred dollars you charge for this? I gave it to my friends here too. Right. Mm -hmm. You can't do better than two hundred for this thing, man. Of course I can, Max. I like you. Yeah. Well, you know, how does a hundred sound? Sit I got it. Well, that's all I want to give for it. You want to meet me halfway? No. You wanna meet me halfway? I don't wanna. I wanna give you a hundred dollars and. I love him. He's the best. Keep recording him because this is the yeah, f***ing yeah. man. Thank Tell you. Tell me 150. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Thank you. Queens guy. That's why I can do business with him. I nice appreciate day. it. One, two, three. That was uh, so nice that, and I've fast. I've been there for 20 seconds now. 20 seconds. That's what the other $20 is. It's is, is, is a savings. It comes with a bag and all that. Come on. We don't need a fresh I direct bag. I, leave sure, that? leave it here. All right. There you go. Well, a new addition. Bye -bye. We've got 22,000 carats of rubies. we got Rolex watches. We've got this. We've got that. Everything in the Diamond District is guilty until proven innocent, bro. Oh, you can change the that's, date. That's just, you can change the date. Yeah, that's good. You know what I'm saying? If we, you know, like to, to think this is something that's easy to, to replicate and copy. This is not from an official Rolex dealership. I don't care how many times it says Rolex on the back and all this other shit. Don't ever tell, don't ever show me a stamp, you know, that says 14K and tell me that's how you know it's for. Don't ever show me this, don't ever show me that. That's not where it's at. That's not how the world works. That's that. There's a lot of thieves, fools, and liars out there, and they're you know who made trying this? to deceive. All right, well, we're gonna go around the room and we're gonna find out who's been working here for a year. Since January 1st. Who's been here January 1st? Ivan, you've been here January 1st? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, you know, it's hard to keep track. Maggie, have you been here January 1st last year? Yeah. All right, this is for you. Oopsies. Mr. Jin, were you here January 1st? You were working here, all right? This is a gift for you. Oh, thank you. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I hope I have enough for all the people that were here January 1st. Mr. Kim, yeah. I don't know if you need this, but you're gonna have it. <laughs> all right, okay, that's you. Since your name is Max, you get one. Uh, you're over here. To Liam, that's gonna... Oopsies, doopsies. <laughs> Kenneth, you were here? I don't wanna hit Angela in the face. Are you gonna grab that past that? And Vargas, you were here? All right, too bad for you. Oh. Humat? All right, watch out, that's the one for you. Hey, Roy, were you here January 1st? <laughs> yeah, you catch that one, then you grab that one. Thomas, you were here? Eric was here. There you go, right there. Georgie, yes. Breezy, you left, unfortunately, right? Oh. You came back sometime. Came back this year, doesn't really qualify. You left and came back, that doesn't qualify. Oh. She was here, obviously. Oh, Kirky was here? Yes, she was. Oh, okay, Kirky, then you're gonna have to catch it. All right. If you weren't here January 1st, then you weren't here January 1st. It, it takes a lot to be here for a year. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot to survive. 
There's a lot of people that, some people that were here January 1st that aren't here now. But for the people that survived, it took a certain type of business acumen to survive to the end of it. Because we really panned, it, panned things out. And for the people that survived it, I mean, almost certainly all of them deserve something. Because, you know, they, that means you have something. You have something in you that has something going on. And, and uh, I wanted you to have something, so I did. Now, we're in a new year and we have to kind of puzzle things out and see what happens. Two hundred and two grams. Two hundred and two point four times point fifty four percent. You gonna get that for me, please? Have the amount of gold that's actually in this chain. That's really the point of this. One hundred nine point two. One hundred nine point two. All right. Let's see if we have enough for two of these things in this bag. First and foremost, let's weigh this out. Yes, we do. That's five hundred and twenty five grams. Okay. Uh, I f***ed up. I should have tarred out the, the glass. We need, which should, was way over. It's crazy how, how much f***ing heavier this shit, the, the solid gold is. All right, so we have, so I guess this tube might have been a little bit. Right on the money, almost. We need 109. This is 108. A gram off. Give it a little f***ing pinch. Uh, oh, no. yeah, oh, wow. Oh, it's going to be too long now, Max. All right. 109.2 is 100. So this is how much gold is actually in here. Now we got to pour this shit in here. Yeah. Now you got it. This, this, that's an interesting way of doing it. All right. So this is the pure gold content of this chain. And the chain weighs 202 grams, so now we have to get uh, alloy in here, which is going to be the copper. Where's the copper at? It's this is 100. This is not enough it's copper. Let's see if Danny has any more copper, or we'll have to put some. We'll mix in copper with silver, so we'll be able to pull this off some way somehow. Let's see if we have some silver grain. So it'll be three layers on top. So this needs to weigh two. 102 grams from here. So we need to pour this in here. And we need to put some silver in here as well. You got some silver grain? There's still silver on the floor over there. Now we're um, uh, 50 grams away, so let's just grab this. Get another paper cup, please. Beautiful silver grain. And now it's time for the journey to 100, uh, 202 grams. Uh, all right, we cannot f this up because the thing is that I don't want to turn this upside down. Who wants to get in this, putting this, separating this shit. It's crazy how these little granules, you know? All right, it's a little bit more. 200 this, that. All right, that's good. This is this chain. Amazing, right? Yeah. If you want your chain done correctly, or if you want to pay, it's okay to have 13 and a half carat if you're paying a 13 and a half carat price. But if you want it done honestly and correctly, hit up Kirby and we'll definitely uh, help you out. No doubt, 14 karat solid Miami handmade Cuban links. You want them? Come through, Tracks NYC, 64 West 47. And if you want to bargain on this 13 and a half carat, which is most of the people wear, wearing out there, and they're wearing 13.2 carat and maybe 12 and a half carat, some of them, you could also uh, pick these up because they're buying them all day and thinking you're doing something by the ground. But if you want to do it correct, hit up Kirby. And give me, give me a call direct, 347-351-0040. Call me anytime, we got you, man. I mean, we took our best people, obviously, and we put them in the store. So 
that is a well-organized machine that's running and you know Noah and Angela and these people are are uh, you know Georgie they're all down there and they're all the best Well, the customer's downstairs, no? He's gonna come back. Oh, he's gonna come back. All right, it's okay. And you gotta match the color too with the with the chain. No, for well, this okay. It's fast. It's, it's fast, but this color is. This. 24. Yeah, I know. It has oh, a little polish. Oh, 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 you polish it off. Yeah, this, this color is. Yeah, because this already got it's more plate, nice. a, li a little plating. All right, let me work it. Beautifully done, beautiful, everything looks the same nowadays, a little bit of a different type of look, just got to enamel it, the drama on both of the sides, it could be glow in the dark, nice blue. 51.8 grams of gold just on his lock, and then 7 carats, all via stones. This and it has a matching bracelet, whole setup's probably like 75,000. I think I know what the cost is. This in the dark too. Just remember, Noah did it first. And I said, shout out to Trice. Tip. This is just a small sampling of the men's rings available on TrixYC.com that we manufacture right here in the Diamond District in New York City. Hand craftsmanship for jewelry. Don't spend a single penny unless we have the jewelry that you want, buying experience, and the value per dollar that you deserve, right? 2030, I will be somewhere, you will be somewhere, everybody's gonna be somewhere. Where I will be on 2030 was determined in 2021. Where I will be in 2040 was determined in 2021. That was the way I saw it. I needed to position a business uh, that was in dire straits into a situation where it has the, the relative stability to deal with what comes next. And that was accomplished through a lot of hard work because time is the factor. The earlier you do something, right? It's like, uh, you know, you wanna, you wanna have a farm, but all you have is one kernel of corn. The earlier you plant that kernel of corn, the earlier you get one corn stock, the earlier you take that corn stock, take the corn out, plant that, and then have a farm. Right, the longer you wait, the longer that process is going to take. And I knew that, and I put it together, and now here we are. We have a show, we have a big team, we weeded out a lot of this undesirable people, and that process deserves some sort of reward for the people that were there from day one to today. That's why everybody who was here on January 1st, on that very important year, got a piece of jewelry to remember that. Because now the course of this business has shifted into something beneficial.
going to Fabricio. One of the usuals, pretty sure you guys have seen. Uh, but we got another gift for Erica. Something new, some hoops. And uh, you guys will see them, they're pretty, pretty dope. Oh, in we go. We also got a birthday today. Where's Maria? Thing, quick. Yeah, that ring didn't work, huh? Smart prong, prongs, too small. I'll, I'll have them reprint. Birthday queen! Oh, oh yeah! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Um, I came for my earrings. <laughs> We're neighbors, you know that? Yeah. That's true. We're neighbors. This for real. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Let's open them on camera. I didn't even look at them yet. The hoops. Oh, these are hoops for Erica? Yes, they are. Erica doesn't even know she's getting these, right? We just made them? Yeah. Oh, shit. Erica again. Erica strikes again. Yeah, I'm gonna send this video to Erica real quick, see what she likes about that. This is on another level, these fucking hoops. Comfortable to put on. This is a girl's dream right here. One, two, three. That's a good lock, yeah. Korean lock. You know those Koreans could. Well, are there diamonds on the, the back? Of course, it's a. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's fucking wrong. <laughs> I'm about to get a sex change operation just to wear these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe edit that part. Is how we have the jewels. She's gonna go crazy for these. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to explain what I'm gonna try to bring to the table. I'm gonna bring the show. Gonna try to gather these celebrities. Me, Mickey, and Jenny as a team are little by little locking in one celebrity at a time and making them friends and partners of the business. We did uh, Kodak Black, Joyner Lucas, Mark Wahlberg, and Snoop Dogg, and possibly someone else with a very big name. We have Erica, which is doing great for us. If things aren't done properly, this whole company and everything else will get caught up and crushed under the wheels. Like, you know what I'm saying? If the business looks like that every day, I mean, do we really need all the people working there to do what they're doing? I don't know, probably not. That's very unfortunate. What are we gonna do to keep them? What business activities now comes if people wanna keep their job and not be thrown out of here? And the vast ocean of people that I'm looking at now, if they wanna keep their job, something has to be done because things could get very, very difficult over the course of this year, maybe not this year, maybe the year after, I don't know when, I don't wanna know when, but something has to be done. Maybe this one. Only three years. I gotta see Liam, I think Liam changed, I think we're, this is white gold. So let me change these pieces to white gold, quick. But there's a lot of little details. Yeah, yeah, so up here, these are different metals. So you have white gold, white gold, and then these two are yellow. Then you have different diamonds, and then these are just whatever you want. It's not as big as you, as you think. It seems big on the program, but it's not. It's only an inch tall. So when it comes to the polishing and all that, I, they're gonna have to be a little careful with it because these pieces are very small. So it's gonna be something like this. I believe, I believe you made the front white gold. So this is gonna be able to open. So we twist this, this hammer is gonna go up. And then once it's behind the door, he's gonna twist down and it's gonna fall into a pin. That way it won't be able to open. So it's almost like a lock. And then inside you're gonna see some uh, gold bars that are stamped with Tracks NYC on them. We have, you have your head for the logo and then the wording, Tracks NYC, those are on the shelves. These are all little individual pieces that are gonna to have to be put together. Two shelves and then down here we have coins. So it's like you have gold bullion coins, we have the gold tracks coins. They're all separate. They all have to come off and be uh, be lasered into in, in the inside so it doesn't uh, move around. So this is what the shelf is. So you have your shelf and then you have your individual bars of gold. You're gonna stick these through these pins, then they're gonna laser them on the bottom and then file the bottom flat. Once they have all these back together then they put them in here and they're gonna there's gonna be some pins coming through these walls here and they're gonna do the exact same process laser on the outside here clean it up and then it's gonna be just like this this part comes off 
So it exposes, this is how they get the, the parts in and out. This is the last part they should put on, is the back. So once they have everything lasered in, all cleaned up and put inside the safe, they grab the back, which has the logo and then like, you know, some bolt nuts and things like that. They stick it on the back and now it cre creates that solid look and a closed, uh, closed safe. Hey guys, just got the safe pendant done. It's a very unique piece here, fully functional. Opens up. We got the gold bars in there and the tracks logos. A lot of detail in this piece. Got the, uh, the gold coins as the tracks logos and the gold bars with the tracks logo on it, you know? 2.6 carats VS2 diamonds. Phenomenal work here. Got the logo on the back. Pay attention to the detail. No one's doing it like us. Alright, okay, I got my burner. I might already like it a one shooter, it's alright. I'll be I'll be good with this. And I get a couple Come shots. Come on, make my burner. This is gonna be a, a World War III right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> one burner, you can't have two burners. Come on, let's take Guns and gold, guns and gold. Right, we're gonna take this picture as well. Bullets and diamonds. Load them all up and let's get moving. Yeah, shout out to Rick Ross. Go get oh, shot in your face. <laughs> let's go, let's go. We shooting them. I'm small, but I'm fast. Three, two. How about me? Oh, don't, don't distract me, bro. Okay, you're I'm doing a camera. You're telling, okay, talking about yourself. You know what you get. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two. Available now, $6,500, out the door. Twenty-five carats, VS1, true colorless diamonds, with the multicolor sapphire and the multicolor dial. Bust down sides, 41. Now you could pair this up. What do we have here? Perfect. This really, you see what I mean? For this, I would do 28,000. That's a steel price. That price not gonna last long. 28,000, doesn't matter what kind of bezel or what kind of dial. 
But for this quality, it's like a disco ball. You know what I mean? Because this is what you get when you get a, you know, a handset watch. Let me show you what a machine set. Usually all that stuff is done overseas, but basically, machine set, not by human, and this is handset that somebody had to study almost like, you know, 10 years to learn setting so he could kind of do this all flower set and be confident enough to set a watch like a Rolex, you know what I mean? But for the viewers at home that don't know that they see like, oh, what's the difference with machine set? Why is 16,000 and this one's 28? This is the reason why, because you get this look that's flawless, can get around that with the machine set that you can get this look. This is why all the other stuff is cheaper and this is what it is. Even on the bu even on the buckle, this is just fully, you know. Also the other thing that gives it away, the the computer can do this flower pattern. See how it can only do grid? Because it's scanning every single slot. That's crazy how much cheaper of a Right, and like the thing is, it's like you still get the same look as this one because nobody could tell. Who's gonna tell you, oh, that's machine set or that's hand set? The common folk, the common consumer doesn't know that. So that's why you get away with it. You get it, you, it looks like that your jeweler is not banging you over the head, but he technically is. Because this is much cost effective to make than if I were to give this to a guy that he sets every stone that he charges me per stone. So that's really what it is. Six thousand shy, or even I'm um, a uh, five thousand shy. Five thousand. What is it? Five thousand five hundred and ninety-six dollars and one cent shy of one million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Should have bought something yourself and added it to the tracking number for just to catch it to catch that million. You know, that's good. That's a good round of applause. And then you have Peter, Noah, Yashu, uh, Kenneth, Kirby, a very good, decent stuff. Nasir, Amy, Paolo, ba 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 and down it goes. I'm gonna try to maneuver and market this business in such a way that people wanna shop not just with me, and they're not just looking for me when they come here, but they're looking for whatever other characters and commendable and respectable people that they have. And then I gotta figure out with whom I'm gonna place my bets to make them this. This is something that needs to be done for us to be able to, to prosper and move on because there's no other way to sell any more jewelry here. Not that I could think of. Maybe the show is gonna come in and maybe they're gonna buy it. But in order for us to eat, in order for us to survive, we gotta get these numbers high. No other way around it. This is just a Medusa lady pendant. I decided to put the Trax logo on the chain. Like, she's wearing the chain, and I iced out her dress. Now, I'm gonna do enamel on it. And so far, I think it will be done after that. Yeah, white, yellow, and rose for the snake. And this snake uh, up here is uh, curves as a uh, bale. So we're gonna put the chain through there. This is a factory or this is like a custom? Network? This is something that I decided to do. Because um, we're doing uh, something similar to a Flossie. I wanted to do a different version. A di different, different version of a Medusa pendant. So, yes, it will be a factory item in this case. But I, I want to do the enamel here. Maybe, maybe I could do enamel in the future on the snake or whatever. But for now, I want to do enamel on the Trax logo. Which is going to make it a color? Uh, maybe red and black? I don't know, I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna decide later on, but it's almost done. It's meaning it's gonna take a little time, you're gonna have to pay attention. There's a lot of facts to go over and a lot of realities to consider. So you would know how we could escape these crushing wheels that are gonna roll through civilization. That's what it seems like to me. Um, these variants have destroyed this city 
and completely stall the economy. And you have to understand how the economy works. If money doesn't go from one place to another, it cannot go from that place to the other, and then that place to the other, and then that place to the other. If it's stuck at A, it doesn't get to B, and it never gets to C, and then D, and then whoever's at Z will never hear it, never see it. That's a big problem. That's a very big slowdown. Um, even just one variant is about a tax on the entire planet of a week's worth of work. Every, all the value the world produces for a week is gone this year already. And that someone has to pay for. And the people that usually pay for that are the people that don't have power and the people that don't have a voice and the people that don't have privilege. That's who carries the burden. Right? That's who carries the burden. It's the people that don't have an edge in this world and so on and so forth. And that is, uh, in most cases, us. Or the, it's a really 99% of the population of the planet. This is very important, so start paying attention carefully, okay? The way this business works is that we have almost a neural network of skills. All right, let's start with me and Danny. I have skills, he does not have. He has skills, I do not have. Combined together, our business network gives us, I could give him a perspective of things he cannot see, and he could give me a perspective of things I cannot see. It's like almost a blind man and a deaf man working together to be able to perceive the world. I hear something over here, well, I see something over there, right? This is, a, and this gives us the ability to be able to gather a group of people here and start organizing and understanding where one person wouldn't be able to accomplish that. Then, so that's the connection between me and Nanny. Then you could take a connection between me and Mickey. All right, so on my own, I can't organize the sapphires. I can't figure out what's going on. I can't keep track of Joyner Lucas. I can't keep track of the castings. I can't keep track of this. I can't keep track of the commercials. I can't do it all. I can make the commercial. I can't keep track of them. But he's linked in. He's over there. Then Breezy's linked into him. Then now into me, I plugged in Jelani. Now on, on the commercials me and Mickey are making, I also plugged in Anna. Those commercials are plugged in upstairs and uh, around and around it goes. And everyone's plugged in from one person to another, right? This is the nature of the business. So you have to understand exactly what that is. You have to understand these things in order to be successful. So that's just really what, what you have to understand. So what does that mean? That means that when you're doing business here with one another, you have to do it on a certain level. This is not a, 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 a place for, for people who don't understand that concept. That is the concept from We're the Victory. Now, Danny plugged in Angela, and Angela's able to hub the store, and that gives us more leverage. Every single person that has any sense or talent plugs into this business and serves a higher purpose. Angela on her own, or Danny on, her, on his own, or Mickey on, on his own, won't amount to shit. But us as a small team, with our skills covering each other's bases, turn into a very powerful organism. That's how we made it so far. <laughs>